Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> a look at a familiar text, but from a slightly different point of view. And it is from John chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, we know God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus Christ came into the world, lived a sinless life, went to the cross, his shed blood. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Well, why? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth not is condemned already. Brothers and sisters, folks out there, the world is condemned already. For in Adam all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and are in need of being saved. Jesus didn't come to condemn and send people to hell. He came that they might be uncondemned, uncondemned, and have life, everlasting life, gift of eternal life. It is found only in Jesus Christ, only in Jesus Christ. For while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. This is the truth. We are sinners, condemned, separated from God, and it is only by what Jesus Christ has done that we might be saved and are in need of that salvation. There is no other way to, to go to heaven. There's no other way to, to be with God, you know, John 14, 6, Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man can come to the Father but by him, but by Jesus, the only way. He has provided the escape from the condemnation of our sin that separates us from God. He is the only answer to it. And realize, we are condemned already. Condemned already. Our salvation is that we may be uncondemned. Oh, praise God. Powerful truth. Powerful truth. And why are they condemned already? Because sin has entered into the world. And through it, death and so the remedy Jesus Christ and because of Jesus Christ we can be uncondemned but without him we remain condemned he's the only way to be uncondemned and that is truly the important message of the day and certainly of the days in which we live. Oh, that we would be uncondemned. 
by the beautiful work of Jesus Christ our Lord. His death upon the cross, his shed blood, is the price of our freedom, the price of our liberty, the price of our salvation, the price of our hope of glory, all in Jesus Christ. He is the way in which we come to the Father. For his being condemned, we could not come to the Father. Sinners shall not come to the Father in eternal life. We must be uncondemned. And it is by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. His death, his burial, his resurrection is the key to being saved. The key to eternal life. The key to a right relationship with God, our Father, which is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a blessed message. Simple. So simple that even a child can understand it. And yet it condemns and defies the understanding of the wise of this world. For in their worldly wisdom, they cannot comprehend it. It's true. For even the most foolish thought that God has is wiser than the wisest thought that any man has ever had. His plan, his way, his results. And this is the issue too. To think that we can somehow uncondemn ourselves by our own actions and deeds will only leave us just as condemned as we were and are and will remain <laughs> because there's only one way, only one truth. And this is why it's so imperative that we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, that we tell everybody about Jesus and that everybody needs to understand that they're condemned already. Sinners lost, separated from God without hope in the world. There is no other path they can find. When one comes to us and we speak to them and they, they go away unsaved, it's not a matter, well, maybe they'll find their salvation somewhere else, in someone else, in some other way, and oh God, I hope they do. No. No. It's only in Jesus Christ. When they walk away, and have not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, they are condemned. They have not the gift of eternal life and they can't achieve it, find it, buy it, steal it from anyone else, anywhere else, for any other reason. It's all in Jesus. Christ in us, the hope of glory. There is no hope of glory without Christ in us. We are condemned sinners. So today, brothers and sisters, folks out there, today is the day to be uncondemned, to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Today, O oh God, Yes, indeed. God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the church would be edified, strengthened, and encouraged, and sinner brought to repentance and salvation, the salvation that is only in the work of Jesus Christ. Today, if they will but hear and receive, O oh Lord, Believe on the name of the only begotten Son of God. Believe on the name of Jesus Christ. 
as the hope of salvation. Receive the gift of pardon. Receive the gift of eternal life and become the children of God. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen and amen. We praise the Lord. In Jesus' holy and blessed name. Thanks for coming and sharing a little time with us today. Stand in Jesus. He is the hope. The only hope for mankind.